Hi, and welcome to Discover Oklahoma. I'm Dean O'Lally. And I'm Julie Chin, filling in for Lauren Nelson, who is at home with her new baby. That's right, and today we're coming to you from Julie's neck of the woods. We are at the Mother Road Market in Tulsa. And Dino, this place is awesome. It's Tulsa's first food hall developed by the Lobeck Taylor Family Foundation. Mother Road Market opened in October of 2018, and to say it's taken off is an understatement. We'll show you around throughout the show. But first, now that it's finally spring in Oklahoma, it's time to start planning those outdoor vacations. And of course, Oklahoma lakes are a big draw, and in just a few weeks, sailing classes will begin. Let's see how they do that at Lake Thunderbirds Sailing Club. Looking good, Casey. There's a certain freedom and exhilaration that comes when you're sailing, and there are metaphors from sailing that can apply to life in general. For these young people at the Lake Thunderbird Sailing Club, they learn all that and more during this particular camp every summer. But above everything else... Safety is the first thing. Uh, we teach them how to be safe on the water, and hopefully, with the skills that they learn here, that they will continue in their enjoyment of the water, because we have so many great lakes in, in Oklahoma, uh, that they will continue to, to follow the safety things that we teach them. And then they learn, the thing about sailing as opposed to somebody who turns a key and pushes a throttle, is that they have to be aware of everything that's going on around them. This is the 25th year for the Lake Thunderbird Sailing Club. Lester Cummings was one of the people who helped get the program going. Many times when we have a child come in, they've never been on a boat, much less a sailboat. But to see them progress from the first of the week to the last of the week where they can rig their own boat. They can go out on this lake and sail all the way across Lake Thunderbird and back by themselves. It gives them a great feeling, you know, of self-worth and it just builds their confidence. They also learn about team building. You're not just an individual out here that, that comes out and does your boat and it's your thing. Everybody helps everybody and you know, the work isn't done till it's all done, and so when, the, when they beach their boats and we're ready to downrig the equipment, then everybody pitches in, and, and it takes four people to lift the boats out, and so it's just all about teamwork and working together and helping each other out on the water if you get in trouble and stuff. So I think it's a wonderful opportunity for them to learn not only skills, but um, a new skill for sailing, but life skills on helping each other. I really enjoy it. I like sailing a lot and hanging out with my friends here. Yeah, it's pretty fun. It's exciting to be able to, to see some of the kids uh, go from not knowing the name of a part of a sailboat to being out on a boat by themselves on the second day and doing a great job. Different camps are offered from beginners to more advanced and child and adult sailing classes as well. And there is a fee to attend the camp, but... No one is paid here, no one. So without our cadre of volunteers and most of them are associated with the boathouse or their sailor, their uh, sailing uh, members, clubs members. Uh, we also have people from the triathletes, they're part of our, uh, their partners out here, OKC uh, triathletes, they do a great job of volunteering too. So without them, the prog program would not happen. I like that we get to go on the water, the wind, um, when we rig and unrig the boats, it's really fun. and. Um, we get to like sail and then we get to kayak and canoe sometimes and swim. It's pretty fun when we do that. The feedback not only from the kids but the parents has always been very positive and in many instances kids return more than once to take the camp. This has been an incredible camp. This is my son's third year coming out here and we drive in from Oklahoma City and just um, the volunteers and the, and the teaching staff is just phenomenal. Getting, giving the kids confidence on the water and kind of just getting out there and going for it. The instructors told me it is wonderful to see the kids adjust the sails to what the wind is doing. They let the wind take them or they can work against the wind. They can go with the wind, but they're always changing the set of the sails, much like life. So I kind of use that, you know, it's the way it is in life. We're always adjusting our sails to what is going on in our life. And I think the uh, sailing is a good example of that. Thunderbird Sailing Club has classes starting as soon as mid-April and running through mid-July. Hit up their website, thunderbirdsailingclub.org, for more information. And after you have a little bit of fun in the sun, you might be ready to relax just a little bit. And we're better to do that than a trip to the spa. Serenity Spa and Sulphur is one of TripAdvisor's top spas in America. It's beautiful here. 
Um, you've got all the natural springs, the beautiful parks, the lakes, the falls. And there is so much to do and see here. It brings you back to nature. People have been coming here for many years, um, partaking of the healing properties of the waters. So it's hard to relax these days. Um, I mean, I, I drive a lot for my job, and I'm involved in a lot of different things, and sometimes you just really need to take that time for yourself. When people come here, they're looking for stress relief. Um, they're looking to improve their self-image. Um, they're looking to be relieved in mind, body, spirit, and soul. So we offer holistic treatments to be able to enhance that in their lives. We offer different body treatments, massage, um, manicures, pedicures. Um, we offer waxing treatments. We do bridal hair, bridal makeup. Um, we have a, a large array of treatments. A lot of our journeys will actually include for people to be in the spa for anywhere from two to five hours and just being able to relax. They'll get to utilize all the hydrotherapy, um, which includes the steam saunas, the dry saunas, and the whirlpools being able to soak. The aromatherapy is amazing. It just fills the hallways. We have the children's spa, Little Souls, downstairs in the lower level. And it's fun and, and colorful and captivating to the children. And we offer many spa services for the children as well. So we're able to be able to give to the whole family, men, women, and children. We do a lot of mother-daughters um, outings. And the little girls are just so captivated by the colorful setting and, and they get to wear a little tiara. It's like one of those good, uh, what do they call it, staycations. We'll just book a room for the night, just come down, enjoy the winery, enjoy um, the springs, and then I'll usually do a, a spa day. We don't even have clocks in here. Um, we did that on purpose because we want people to forget what's going on on the outside world. The spa, I mean, it's like you're transformed into another you know, another world. You can plan your trip to the spa and even book an overnight stay at the Artesian on their website. And check out everything else you can do in Sulphur when you download the Tourism Departments app. Just search Travel OK in the App Store. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. It's never a bad day, bad day to have some gelato. The sweet treat at a must-stop shop in Stillwater. It's like one of those destination places to check off your bucket list. Plus, the place you just got to visit in Sapulpa. First bite, juicy burger, great flavor, warm, hot, fresh, and quick. And the search for the best burger in the state never stops. Wait until you see what we found in Tulsa coming up right here on Discover Oklahoma. Explore new horizons in your free Oklahoma Outdoor Guide. Get the excitement rolling. Reawaken your sense of adventure. Discover totally unexpected thrills. Order your free Oklahoma Outdoor Guide today at TravelOK.com. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma, coming to you from the Mother Road Market in Tulsa. This food hall is home to all sorts of scrumptious restaurants and a few oaky themed merchants too. And once you fill up here, you can head towards Stillwater for a pit stop that's worth the drive. Laura Nelson takes us to Blue Spruce for gelato and sorbet, Oklahoma style. On the corner of 8th Avenue and Main Street in downtown Stillwater sits a quaint little gelato and coffee shop called Blue Spruce. Colby and Kristen Bennett opened the shop hoping to offer up something unique for the area. It was basically um, kind of a, an experience and an idea that I had um, in college that I just felt like was unique and wanted to try and put, put it all together. The name Blue Spruce, the tree, is obviously native to the Rocky Mountains and that's kind of the origins of the story of how I would go there a lot um, as a child on trips and vacation. I wanted to try and weave that into the, the space of the experience. When they decided on the concept for the shop, they had no idea how to make gelato, so they went to one of the best to learn. Getting in touch with an Italian lady that helped us get off really on the right foot um, with recipes to form a foundation. So gelato, again, just kind of became the catalyst to keeping us, you know, filling the void. 
You can find around 16 different flavors of gelato and sorbet in the case at any time, and they're all delicious. A lot of our flavor ideas come from either just things that we like and see, or customers sometimes give us suggestions. And to be able to create flavors that customers give us ideas about is really, it's kind of like making tiny dreams come true. It's kind of fun. <laughs> we have 16 flavors in the case. About 10 to 12 of them are base flavors that are permanent. Um, and then four to six will rotate every few weeks, three to four weeks based on the season. In the spring and summer, we do half of the case in sorbets um, and then half in gelatos. But at Blue Spruce, the gelato is only half the story. We try to find um, the best coffees from single origin countries in, you know, around the world that we can that just are packed full of flavor and aromatics and story. and. Um, we try to roast them so that we highlight their, their story, their flavor story. We first roast it and then we brew it um, just as you know, black and pure as we can um, through a drip machine and then we also do it by hand through pour overs. The Bennett's strive to offer the best coffee and gelato you can find, but they also want to offer a safe haven for people to rest, work and relax. I work in the area and, and love the atmosphere and being able just to come in. First of all, enjoy their coffee. Their, their coffee is amazing. It's never a bad day, bad day to have some gelato. Whether you're craving a cold sweet treat, a hot cup of coffee, or you're looking for a spot to come and unwind, Blue Spruce is the place to come. I wanted people to come in and walk in and immediately, whatever, whatever they're coming in with, I want it almost to just kind of fall away to where they feel like they're coming into a space that um, they can't help but just stop and listen or relax. Blue Spruce is located at 724 South Main Street in Stillwater. They're open from 1 to 9 weekdays and until 10 p.m. on Friday and Saturday night. We hope folks spend a little time in Stillwater, maybe shopping or taking in the cowboy culture. That's true, and as the road trip continues, you need to head towards Oklahoma City for a stop at a rustic and unique shop that all started in an Oklahoma man's garage. Shelly Mills takes us to Grain and Grange. Stockyard City is known for places like Cattleman's Steakhouse, Great Western Wear, and now Grain and Grange. This new shop specializes in furniture made right here in Oklahoma City. This stuff has endured over uh, decades or centuries. As you glance around this showroom, numerous pieces may catch your eye. Owner Todd Miller well, says what makes the furniture coffee. here at Grain and Grange different is that each piece has a story. The wood, whether old boxcar flooring, cargo flooring, or barn wood, was harvested, reclaimed, and repurposed to give new life to the lumber which may have otherwise ended up in a landfill. It's this wood that's been up and down millions and millions of miles of roads. It's got this beautiful texture and weathering and, and, and patina to it. Many of the pieces pay homage to the city in which they were built. The Exchange Table, the Edgemere Table, and the Agnew Table, just to name a few. We try to tie things the, the best we can back to local to Oklahoma City or even to statewide or agricultural things that people will recognize. Others remember the farms or cities that they were saved from. Miller said they often work with families tearing down an old barn to salvage the wood and give it new life. To say that, you know, you, you made something that somebody's going to spend a third of their life in or that you made something that their family's going to gather around, that they're going to share meals at, that they're going to cry over, that they're going to do their taxes on and figure out their budgets on, that means a lot to me. Despite the location directly across the street from Cattleman's Steakhouse, Miller says this is not a Western furniture store. While some items may appeal to that crowd, there's a modern feel to much of what you will find here. One of the hottest items right now, live edge tables. Those voids that are left as they grow over the course of 50 years or 100 or 200 years, those voids that are left inside are never seen again unless you ever cut the tree down. When you cut the tree down or when you slab it out into pieces that you can use to make tables out of, you see those voids in there. And one of the things that we do is fill those with a specific color resin. Creating a beautiful, unique piece that will last a lifetime. All of the things that we do are going to touch people's lives in lots of different ways, and they're going to get hopefully decades of use out of them. In Oklahoma City, Shelley Mills, Discover Oklahoma. Grain and Grange is located at 1312 South Avenue in Oklahoma City, also known as Stockyards. 
They're open 8.30 to 5, Monday through Saturday, closed on Sunday. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. It's an unusual place, so you're not going to find a place like this very many places on Wrong Route 66 for sure. A must-stop spot along the Mother Road. Some weeks it comes up to two or three times. When the burger is this good, you can't help but come back for more. We'll show you where when Discover Oklahoma continues. Gather around and go for a ride through Oklahoma's all-new travel guide. See art, culture, big city venues, blazing neon, flavorful menus. Find a cabin where you can unwind. Grab your travel guide and see what you find. This portion of Discover Oklahoma is brought to you by Oklahoma Ag Credit, financing country living. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma. We're at Tulsa's Mother Road Market, a great place to check out all sorts of restaurant entrepreneurs right along Route 66. And I promise you everyone can find something to fill up on here. Yes, and then get back on the Mother Road, head a little bit west and you'll find one of the sweetest shops in the heart of Sepulpa. It's a, one of those destination places you check off your bucket list. Take a ride on Oklahoma's big stretch of Route 66 and you'll find a little bit of country. Primarily, it's a ranch and western look, flair to the store, uh, from dishes to bedding, furniture, um, but we offer a lot of other styles to our customers. This is a business that spent decades in downtown Sepulpa. I started doing craft shows, and my husband told me he would pay me to quit doing the craft shows, so I opened a small store here in town, a one-room store, and um, through that period, we have been downtown a little over 30 years. Little Bit of Country now sits in this 6,400 square foot space. There's a lot of great stuff and a lot of great history here. In fact, this building dates back to 1910 when it was originally Morton's department store. You'll even find the original Morton's cash register here. It's the only thing in Little Bit of Country that's not for sale. Not to worry though, the store is packed with great gift items. Much of the merchandise is Oklahoma themed and made by Oklahomans. We have a lot of different artists that are from Sepulpa that have their items in the store. So that's why I, I love having, whether it's the prints um, or tiles or cups or the pottery, the hand forged iron. Um, to me, that's what makes us unique is, is having local artists also in the store. One of the biggest attractions is the hand-forged iron created by Diane's husband and one of her sons. You'll find bedding or beds. Uh, you'll find tables, lamps. Uh, he also does a lot of knives, hand-forged knives, where he does Damascus knives or hunting knives, um, curtain rods, fireplace sets. I like the knives. Gary has the knives. Of course, they have horseshoes here too. They actually sell horseshoes. I come here really often. Uh, I come for a rustic cuff. I come from, for the dresses and, and the uh, blouses sometimes. This family business covers it all. Every item sold here is carefully chosen. I always figured that if for some reason something didn't work out, I wanted to have merchandise that um, I would take home or that I would give as gifts. So I've tried very hard over the years to personalize the store to make it different from everybody else. It's an unusual place, so you're not going to find a place like this very many places on Wrong Route 66 for sure. We get so many travelers through from other countries, and it's interesting to see how many different people come through. A little bit of country, where you'll find a taste of the West in eastern Oklahoma. It's certainly worth a trip to come in to a little bit of country. You'll find a little bit of country at 124 East Dewey Avenue in Sepulpa. They're open Tuesday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. until 3.30 on Saturdays, and they're closed Sunday and Monday. Up next on Discover Oklahoma. I've got a sizzler that's pepper jack cheese, fried jalapenos, onion ring strings, and drizzled and smothered in ranch. Some of the best burgers in the state were trying out flows in Tulsa when Discover Oklahoma continues. There's some things you just can't contain. Oklahoma Today Magazine is bursting with culture. Mind-blowing restaurants, trips, adventures, and so much more. Open your copy, then hit the open road. Unleash your curiosity. Set your spirit free. Subscribe today for only $14.95. Oklahoma Today Magazine. Break through the ordinary. 
had such a great time checking out all the fabulous food here at Mother Road Market. But if all the choices can be too overwhelming for you, we can actually simplify things just a little bit. Do you want a juicy burger? Who doesn't? Jason Grubbs is going to take us to one of the best burger places right here in T-Town. I love to cook. Um, I've always loved to cook since I was a kid for family, family functions. I mean, just anything. Sit at home, not even hungry, just cook something up, take pictures of it. That love for cooking led Brandy Atkins to create Flo's Diner. She's opened three locations since 2014. This one here is along Route 66 in Tulsa. The name Flo, well, it's in the family. Mom's name is Floette, my dad's name is Floyd, my grandmother's Floor, so I just chopped them all down and turned it into Flo. Customers are flowing into this little diner just east of downtown. Delicious, that's why I came back. You can't beat them anywhere. First bite, juicy burger, great flavor, warm, hot, fresh, and quick. Scott Berry comes in at least once a week. Some weeks it goes up to two or three times. Scott has a true passion for burgers. Flo's is a favorite. I'm a huge burger fiend. I love trying to go all the burger places there are out here to go to, and this is one of my favorite places. Flo's seems like it's been along Route 66 forever. It's actually only been open for a little while, but the burgers here are legendary, and I think the bomb sauce has something to do with that. Every single burger here, I put the bomb sauce on it pretty much. It doesn't matter what burger it is, I add the bomb sauce to it. It's just that good. The bomb sauce is a secret, of course. Add it on an old classic, or like Scott says, to any of Brandy's creative creations. Why not try it on a bacon cheddar barbecue burger with stacked onion rings or something spicy? I've got a sizzler that's pepper jack cheese, fried jalapenos, onion ring strings, and grizzled and smothered in ranch. As for the sides, they're just as good as Flo's Burgers. She says nothing is frozen. We do fresh cut, hand cut fries. Our onion rings are hand cut and battered right then when you order them. Um, our jalapenos are the same way, pickles are the same way, like mushrooms are fresh mushrooms that are thick sliced and then we soak them and then dry batter them right then. How about some healthier things on the menu? Caprese chicken, we've got uh, chicken sandwiches, we've got chicken salads you can order. There's literally something for everyone. And we can make anything. If there's something back there that has the ingredients but we don't have it on the menu, like we, we encourage that. At Flo's Diner in Tulsa, I'm Jason Grubbs for Discover Oklahoma. It's good. And no matter where your next road trip takes you, the Discover Oklahoma Dining Guide will help you find a great place to eat. Just log on to our website, travelok.com, and click request free brochures to get your copy. A huge thank you to Mother Road Market for hosting us this week. You'll find this community space at 1124 South Lewis in Tulsa. A heads up, they're closed on Mondays, but the rest of the week, the hall opens at 10 a.m. Individual vendors may choose their own hours. And it's not just restaurants. You'll find gift shops, Oklahoma-grown produce, meat, and dairy products, too. Be sure to plan your visit today. And coming up next Saturday on Discover Oklahoma, another Tulsa gem. We're checking out the Air and Space Museum. And hold on tight, we're riding the rapids on the Oklahoma River. It's all coming up next Saturday night right here on Woo! Discover Oklahoma. So until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma.